one of my favorite female wrestlers on the current WWE roster is Natalia. While she has had a few figures prior to this version from Mattel's 61st series of basic figures, this is the outfit that I had been waiting on. While this figure does have some good to it, this might not have been the best choice for me to get, and here's why. Now before we get too deep into this review, I should add that I have no images of the packaging because it was damaged in shipment. Check out my Samoa Joe or Kevin Owens figures reviews to hear that. Check out my Samoa Joe or Kevin Owens figure reviews to hear that story. Outside of the box, Natalia looks stunning in this outfit, which was the one that she wore while managing Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. It reminds me a lot of a Mad Max character, and combines leather, chainmail, and feathers for a very unique look. Now, one of the reasons I like Basic Series female figures so much is that they have the same articulation as an Elite figure, but at the Basic Series price. And this is just as good, with one exception. Unfortunately, that weird feather boa on her shoulders cuts off the articulation in her arms a bit. Now, you can take it off if you remove her arms, but I wouldn't recommend it. Other than that, it's a great representation of one of my favorite looks for this wrestler. But in terms of her actually being super poseable, this is not the greatest choice when it comes to that. And here she is standing between Charlotte and Paige to show you the height difference between her and the other female figures in the line. Since Natalia is shorter than most other ladies on the WWE roster, and has a fuller figure than some of them, this figure really captures that appearance and separates her from the pack. If you're a fan of Natalia like I am, pick up this figure today. There's also a chase version of this with a championship belt floating around out there, but no matter which one you find, she's definitely worth grabbing. <laughs> 